That is so good. Hi guys. So I am about to get a colonoscopy. Actually, I'm getting a colonoscopy tomorrow. And I decided to do this video just because um, this is actually my second time I'm getting a colonoscopy. Um, the first time I did my uh, colonoscopy and I, the doctor told me that I needed to get one, I was really scared just because I've heard horror stories about getting a colonoscopy, about the prep and um, the actual procedure and the after. Um, I always heard horror stories about it. But in actuality, um, once I did my colonoscopy, to be honest with you, it really wasn't that bad. Um, so for this time that I'm, I'm going to be doing my colonoscopy, this is the second time, I'm doing it tomorrow. I'm not even um, really worried about it. So I just decided to do this video just, just to show people who uh, maybe their doctor just told them that they needed to do a colonoscopy or um, you know, you think that something's wrong with like your bowel movements or whatever and you're afraid to tell your doctor just because you don't want to do a, colon a colonoscopy because I know a lot of people don't want to do it because they're afraid but so that's why I wanted to do this video just to um, kind of bring you in and show you um, what the prep is and obviously I can't take you into the room when I'm getting my um, colonoscopy but I can show you what the prep how the prep is and and um, after I do my procedure so yeah um, actually prep time takes quite a lot it's um, let me show you I have this calendar that I made um, just because it, it'll remind me of um, they give you a, a little chart but this is easier for me just to um, go by so actually my colonoscopy is not until uh, tomorrow which is a Tuesday but I had to prep from the Tuesday prior and that included um, no aspirin on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday was no aspirin and no supplements and no fiber and I take fiber so fiber pills so I couldn't take any of that Sunday uh, was um, actually it's no aspirin no supplements no fiber no fruits vegetables salads nuts seeds popcorn whole wheat or bran and today is basically the same except um, I needed to stop eating actually I stopped eating I started my liquid diet um, after 12 midnight last night so the only thing I had this morning was uh, a bowl of beef broth so I'm, I'm pretty hungry and um, that's all I can eat is all it's all liquid diet so I can have beef broth popsicles and jello and that's the same thing I did um, the last time I had my colonoscopy and um, and then I need to start start my my drink at five o'clock and right now I'm gonna mix my drink and I'm gonna show you how it's done so this is what I have to drink I have to drink this whole thing so I fill it up with water and there's this little packet you can do it without the packet if you want um, I like it it's it's a flavor pack and this is like a lemon flavor pack I haven't tried it without but I tried it with this and it's 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 okay um, a lot of people from before when I did my first one was saying oh this is so terrible but for me it wasn't that bad it wasn't I, I, I could tolerate it so you pour this in here into here and then you fill it up with water and um, actually you pour this in here you shake it up with it with a product on the bottom and then you fill it up with water and you shake it and you stick it in your refrigerator um, I'm, it's about one o'clock right now and I'm doing it early so that I can stick it in a refrigerator because it's better when it's cold it's easier to go down okay so you pour this packet into the container it's not very much but it, it makes it have the flavor it's the lemon flavor you close the top and you shake it the flavor packet with the product on the bottom and you fill it up with water up to here so I'm going to use the water from my refrigerator door okay so I got it all the way up to the fill line and what you do is shake it up
So if you notice here, I have a line here. What, what needs to happen is I need to drink this. I start this at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. And I need to drink at a rate of 8 ounces every 15 minutes up to 12, 12 o'clock midnight. So by 12 o'clock midnight, I need to have finished 3 quarters of this. Then in the morning, um, 4 hours prior to my appointment, my appointment is at 1. So 4 hours prior, I need to um, finish the balance of this. So yeah, so right now I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator. And I'll see you guys when I start drinking this solution. Okay guys, so it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And this will be my first uh, glass of the solution um, that will help me go to the bathroom. It's actually a very strong laxative. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drink it up. And I'm supposed to drink this drink 8 ounces every 15 minutes until I'm done of 3 quarters of that bottle that I showed you earlier. Now my suggestion to you um, from my experience from the, the first time I, I um, did my colonoscopy is to drink it with a straw. This helps tremendously and to get this in the ice box to get it nice and cold at least uh, 3 or 4 hours before you're scheduled to drink it. Go ahead and mix it up and put it in your refrigerator. But the straw helps a lot. It, it gets it past your tongue so you can um, drink it a lot faster. And don't stop um, and kind of rest. Um, I know a lot of people do that. They stop and rest because of the taste. The taste to me isn't really that bad. But to me it's easier just to kind of gulp it down. So here we go. Here's the first one. not too bad um it's hard to describe it's it's a little sweet it's 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 just really not too sweet and you can taste maybe a little bit of salt saltiness to it but it's not that bad um kind of towards the end when you're kind of in ending the last the last part of the bottle it gets kind of tired of drinking but you get tired of drinking it but yeah so i'll be back in another 15 minutes to do my second one done I, I did my three quarters for the evening it took nine glasses um, so I'm gonna eat now which will consist of beef broth and maybe some jello and maybe a popsicle Woo. but uh, yeah I'm just to let you know that on the third glass the laxative started to kick in so in between the 15 minutes I've been in the restroom and a very important point is um, when you start taking this drink, um, you're going to be in the bathroom for pretty much the whole time that you're drinking this drink on, on pretty much the whole night. So I would recommend that you buy wipes because uh, tissue, toilet tissue is not going to be a friend. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. So uh, right now it's about 9 o'clock in the morning and I need to finish up the rest of this laxative drink. I have about this much more and I'm hoping maybe about this plus three more well, maybe four more glasses and this will be done I need to finish it by 11 o'clock being that my appointment is at 1 um, I last night I it took about nine glasses for me to get to the three-quarter point and it um, from 5 to 7 it took from 5 to 7 to get the nine glasses down 
I finally went to sleep about a little after 11 and I woke up maybe two times during the, during the um, night so it wasn't too bad um, yeah so I haven't been going to the bathroom right now but I'll be starting to go to the bathroom when I, when I start drinking this again so yeah let's get started on this one Oh, it's really ice ice cold um yeah so i haven't eaten anything and i don't plan to eat anything i just want to make sure that my everything is um nice and clear i just don't want to go to the appointment because if it's if it's if you get to the appointment and, it, and you're not cleaned out they'll reschedule you and i i don't want that so i'm just not going to eat anything it's going to be really hard um to not eat you know till one o'clock but yeah i have a slight headache and um that's normal for me if i don't eat i get headaches i have migraines so I'm kind of hoping that this headache is not going to turn into a full-blown migraine because I can't take the, my prescribed medicine from my doctor because um, they're going to be putting me under. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in 15 minutes for my next class. is all of it I'm finally done with it I'm um, just a little note that um, your stools um, towards the end will not be white a lot of people think that it'll be clear but it actually won't your stools will be like a bright uh, yellow color and you want it to be that um, what you don't want to see is um, it having brown clumps in your stools that means your uh, insides are not clean yet and they might have to uh, reschedule your appointment and you don't want that so make sure you follow your prep to a T so my appointment is at 1 o'clock so I'll see you guys in a little bit hi guys so I just of uh, the doctor's office uh, was put under so I'm kind of uh, woozy is it woozy? Mm -hmm. it's my honey uh, yeah, so he's gonna go take me to get my food. Um, I made a list from yesterday and I'm gonna get uh, Beef fried rice beef Both. fried rice the um, pie. And whoopie pies from uh, Whole Foods if you haven't tried the whoopie pies you have to try them. Oh, I can't wait I'm hungry <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, when I'm a little bit more co coherent, I'll come back. Okay. Bye. So we're at Whole Foods right now. I'm just waiting for Jody to go and get my lunch. Um, just a little, um, just a little tell you how they do the procedure. So you go in and they hook you up and they do all your vitals, and then um, the doctor comes in and talks to you and explains, and then they roll you over to your side because you already have an IV in you. They roll you over to your side and then they pump in two drugs. Um, one was a sedative to make me go to sleep and one was fentanyl um, for the pain. Now when I heard the word fentanyl, I got a little scared but she, the lady knows what she was doing. But once they pumped it in, I think within 15 seconds, I was out cold. So uh, when I woke up, I was like, are you done? I mean, it was super, super quick. But anyways, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit groggy. I just can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. So after he gets my food here from Whole Foods, um, I wanted a Coke. Um, I rarely drink soda, but I'm really craving a Coke. So he said he would take me through McDonald's drive through because he knows that's my favorite soda. Um, if I'm gonna buy Coke, that's uh, Coca-Cola is gonna be from McDonald's and then I he's gonna also get me a french fry cuz you can't have a, f a Coke without french fries or you can't have french fries without a McDonald's Coke so yeah I can't wait to eat um 
I don't know. I was gonna uh, finish up at home, but I think I'm just gonna fish, finish up um, right now. So, when if you have any problems with your stools and you notice any abno ab abnor abnormalities, you should get it checked out. And if your doctor suggests that or tells you that you need a colonoscopy, go and get it done. Um, also, at the age of 50 is when they start screening and you, for you to get a colonoscopy. Now, if that happens, don't be afraid. Just go ahead and have it done because it can actually save your life. Um, yeah, so um, it's, it's not that bad. And to me, it's worth it. Um, colon cancer is the third deadliest um, cancer in the United States. So if you can get screened, when they tell you to get screened, go ahead and do it. it it's, it's really nothing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm sorry I'm a little loopy. But please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye.